Welcome to Vocab Wednesday, and I am Chris with Magoosh, and I got some A-words tea for you today. Our first A-word is attenuate. Now you're probably thinking, why is there this weird little line here? Did Chris forget to erase that? No. Notice how the line starts thick, and then it thins out or tapers. That's what it means to attenuate something, to make it weaker or diminished in effect. Now obviously it doesn't always refer to an actual line, but your attention could be diminished or attenuated, especially if you're sitting watching the same boring video for 20 minutes. But this won't be boring and it won't be 20 minutes. Point is, something that is attenuated weakens, it could be anger, it could be excitement, it could be any intangible, becomes less. There you have it. Next we have anachronism. I love this word, it's just such a cool word because we see it and sometimes we don't really know how to describe it. But if something is totally out of place as far as the time context goes, then we call it an anachronism. For instance, what if all of a sudden I look out and I see this horse-drawn carriage going by past instead of the usual car? Well, that would be an anachronism because these days, 21st century, all that business, we don't really have horse-drawn carriages going through the roads. Or you could flip it around. So let's say you go watch one of those new productions of Romeo and Juliet and the director takes some liberties and instead of Elizabethan England, suddenly you have Romeo texting Julio, where art thou, Julio? And of course he uses all that old text language, it's totally annoying, but that's just me. Point is, that's out of place in time because they couldn't text back during Shakespeare's time. So anachronism, fun word. Next we have adumbrate comes from the Latin umbra, which means shade or shadow. So to adumbrate, we have two definitions. One is just to kind of outline and say, this is what we're going to do today. Today on Vocab Wednesday, let me adumbrate and outline or sketch out what we will do. It can also mean to foreshadow. So oftentimes when we're watching TV shows and the finale is drawing close, like a couple of episodes leading up to the final, they'll oftentimes foreshadow it or adumbrate what will happen to the main character. So not as common of a word as the other two, but again, two definitions important to know. Next and finally, we have apposite, which sounds like opposite, but it is not opposite. It is apt or suitable. So if something is apt, it is fitting. An apt common is when someone says something that's just right given the situation. Now you'll notice that apt and apposite, basically the same word. Apt is just much longer. It's like A-P-T, but then it like shrunk. So it's one of those kind of formal sounding words that you don't necessarily want to just whip out in conversation, but that GRE likes it because it sounds like opposite and it doesn't really sound like apt or suitable, but that's exactly what it means. And I will see you next week, same time, same place. In the meantime, check us out, gre.magoosh.com.